Well, I decided today I'm going to work on my Jeep a little bit. I've got, I've got some things to do to it. First, there's the pedals over there. Got to put them on today. Pedal set up for the manual. Um, I've also got to put some weather stripping on the back door so it doesn't rattle around when I drive. And this is going to go on soon. So, this weather stripping I'm talking about, about a quarter inch thick, it's going to put it here, all along this edge. So maybe by adding the weather stripping, it will push my door out a little bit more, so it won't rattle on that latch. Did you hear that? Da -ba -dum. Anyway, the point of this video here is to talk about these pedals. Shouldn't be too hard. Same thing as the other one. Got some bolts on the bottom, then some up top, and then some even higher. I'm going to start taking off these bolts. I think it was 14 millimeter. And then the top one was 15 on the, on the uh, 94XJ with the manual. Right beside the master cylinder for the brake, if you look down, there's a hole right there. You can punch it out with a punch or something, and that's where the clutch master cylinder goes. This is a 97 ZJ Laredo I'm working on. Right below that giant hole, there's another hole, and then above it, there's another one as well that you can't see very well. Punch those out, and that's where the bolts go for the master cylinder. <sighs> well, I'm all done. It took about 20 minutes. Now, everything's disconnected. I found out how the brake lights work. This white thing, right there where that black plunger kind of thing is. See it going in and out? And you can kind of hear the click. Once you press the brake down, that turns the brake lights on. And this here, the master cylinder hookup sort of thing, that was easy to come off. All you have to do is pop off the little clip and it slides right off. The rest is just bolts. Well, finally got it out. This, this damn bracket was giving me trouble. There's a square thing that goes into here. It has a has about ten wires coming out of it that have to do with the brake light. I don't know why, but that's the piece. There's that plunger I'm talking about. I just grind this piece off and weld it onto here, so I don't have to do any modifications to the wires. That should be easy, very easy. And there's these little tabs here. Have to cut them off. You can see what kind of bending I have to do. It's very easy. I'm gonna get doing that right now. This is that gray thing I'm talking about with the brake light. I think what I'll do to the manual pedals is cut this up a little bit so I can slide it past the master cylinder. So, there's what it'll look like. Put back in the vehicle. Works out perfectly. Because on the Grand Cherokees, people like to be grand, so they have to have a stupid footrest right there. Oh, well, after about half an hour, everything's off. So, next is to take these and bend them. Then I can put it back in the Jeep. But before I do that, actually, I have to 
get a rod for that so that I can use my brakes. I would use this rod, but it's kind of stuck on there. So I have to come up with something else. All right, so it's bent now. How I tell if it's bent good or not is um, this is my method. I don't know. I don't know Purple ZJ's method or anything like that, but made sure it was flat. And I put a level on it. Took the reading at the top, which you guys can't see. Did the same for here. Took the reading. It was the ex it, it was, it's exactly the same. So now I just have to drill a hole about here somewhere, like this one. And for this, I figured out how this is the setup that was on, on these pedals originally. There's a bolt, and then there's a bushing, or sleeve, whatever you want to call this. And then there's these uh, plastic things that go on this sleeve, and then a nut. And then I guess a locking nut kind of thing. Alright, got the hole drilled. Hopefully it's in the right spot. I marked out where the other one was and I kind of just took a guess top or bottom. That uh, reamed it out a ton with the drill bit because I don't have a big enough size. And I drilled that one there just in case uh, I decide to put a bolt or something there. If I can. So off to the Jeep to see if this will bolt up. And if it will, then all I have to do is worry about that piece of crap. Well, got the pedals in. All I have to do now, solder this back so my PA can work. Hook up the master cylinder, of course, so that'll work. Right now she's just dangling around. Brake works good. It's a little sticky for some reason. Should be good though. works I can go into gear the only thing that doesn't work is my brake lights I need to grind that piece off remember mm -hmm. can't wait